the reasoning. Good evening, good evening. Hello. Can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I see some people say good evening on the chat. That's nice. And some people have said good evening here on the microphone. Okay, I see Ricardo, Joanna, and Deborah. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Andaba cerrando la ventana porque vino el agua. It's raining here too. <laughs> yeah, so weird. Yeah. But there is rain in November. That is November's rain. Yes. <laughs> Literally. Hi. Well, I hope you're fine. It's just the middle of the week. I hope you are still alive. You still have energy to, well, to practice one more class, to be as strong and to stay here, to stay as strong in the class. All right, this is our um, yeah video conference number 13. Okay, and it's November 29th, almost the end of November, right? And then one more day of November and it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas, it's December. All right, let's go ahead with the agenda for today's class. Yeah, the reminders as usual to be fully concentrated, focused, and committed during the 120 minutes, two hours plus. Participation really counts and it matters at the time that you demonstrate, achieve, and learn to communicate in another language, in this case, English. All right, the general address of the video conference platform, how to use it, what to do, what not to do, and so on. Remember the platform, important, really important. Yeah, I see you were working on the platform, some of you, we're uh, asking for some exercising in how to solve them. That's great. That's awesome. That means you're making progress and you're working hard. All right. So my recommendations as well. Okay. And obviously to have the manual. Oh my God. I'm, I'm using these new earphones, but I don't get used to them hard for me to get used to them. All right, good evening, Brian. Good evening, Deborah. Oh yeah, I think Deborah already said good evening. Hello. 
<laughs> okay. <clears throat> this is going to be the main goal, the main objective for today's session to prepare, write, and articulate short professional emails for businesses purposes. Of course, remember that everything we do here is for your business purposes, for your work. Okay, that's why this program helps you to perform better in your work. In case, I mean, you have to communicate in English and then I mean, many of these things also apply in Spanish as well. Many of the things you can learn. So we just get to put them into practice. But in case you have to communicate in English, of course, this will help a lot. Well, before anything else happens, let's see. We gotta get the attendance, attendance, attendance. My goodness. For some reason, sometimes I see your list in yellow. Something is wrong. Oh, well. Let's start. Anna Cristina? She's not here. Or no. Brian? Here. <laughs> okay. Please report how you're doing. Okay, fine. You're still alive. David Miguel. Present teacher. Hello. Deborah Beatriz. Deborah, Deborah. Present. Doris. No, here. Elvin. Elvin, Elvin. Don Elvin is not here yet. Okay. Let's continue. Gracia. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Feeling sick? Yes. Jesus. And I'm so tired. Lack of energy <laughs> yes i know i know i know i was in chalate really in yes my goodness uh, yes and now it's when i'm arrived home you just arrived home yes mm, brian says he has to organize the inventory my goodness has a wonderful night yeah it's yeah, I bet going to Chalate in one day must be really tiring. I usually have a similar experience on Sundays when I go visit my parents in Iloasco. It's a long trip, very tiring, <laughs> and I have to return the same day. So on Mondays, usually I'm so tired because the previous day. All right, Hector? Present to share. Hello, how are you? Fine. 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 Come here. Ready. Ready. Thank God. Imelda. <laughs> yellow. Present teacher. Your your daughter always says yellow. For decir hello. <laughs> ah, I know she knows the color, like yellow, green, red, blue. <laughs> Nice. Ivan. Hello, good evening. Joanna. De La Paz. Oh my goodness. Joanna, Joanna. Jocelyn. Not here, Jocelyn. Present. Hi. Hi. 
Karen. I no see Karen. Yeah. Laura. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Maria Irma. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm better than yesterday. I think I've been taking more medications for the cough and I'm feeling better. Thank you. Okay. All right. Miguel Angel. Miguel Angel. Hello. Not here. Nelson Alberto. Present teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm great. Just fine. Yes. Good. Paula Natalia. No. Ricardo Mauricio. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, how are you? Fine, I'm good. fine. Just fine. All right. One second, please. All right, the next person is Wendy. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. And Wilmer. Present teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, nice, nice, nice. Okay, yesterday we were studying should and shouldn't. Okay. Vamos a escribir dos oraciones en el chat. Una con should y otra con shouldn't. Pero usando el sujeto I. En primera persona. Yo, ¿qué debo hacer en mi trabajo? ¿Y qué no debo hacer? ¿Ok? I should be early. I should work hard. I should be respectful. In shouldn't.
All right, we have examples from Deborah. <laughs> it says, I shouldn't eat on my desk. <laughs> nice. I should arrive early to my job. That's true. Nelson, I should sleep more hours. All right. I shouldn't drink so much soda. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. Mm, solo que estos son como consejos que aplican para su vida y para la de todos. Trate de, de escribir dos que apliquen para el trabajo. Como conductas que debe, no debe tener en el trabajo. Mm -hmm. Es que es ahí donde las tengo. <risa> <risa> Pero usted no debería dormir más en su trabajo. Ah, yo sé, sí. I should sleep ah, okay. more para llegar más lúcido al trabajo. Exactly. Ah, got you. Okay, and I shouldn't drink so much soda. Porque cuando uno tiene sueño, dice, ah, me voy a tomar una coca para despertar. Y mm -hmm. es que ahí hay una refri solo para agarrar. No, gases. Yes. really. Uh -huh. Así que por eso. Uh -huh. I now understand. Ah, pues sí. I should be punctual, Ricardo. I should ask if I don't know how to do something. Yes, you should ask for help. I should report my inconvenience, any inconvenience to my immediate boss. Okay, let's continue reading. I should not disrespect my colleagues. I should not wear the uniform incorrectly. From Mr. Manuel Ramirez. I should not use my cell phone during work hours. I should wear my uniform correctly. Oh, wow. Some companies are very strict with the uniform, right? Very strict with the uniform. It's true, it's true, it's true. Vaya, todos escribieron sus should and shouldn't sentences on the chat. Yes. Let me see, let me see. Everybody, the ones that they still need some minutes, some time to go right and finish. Mm -hmm. I should, I shouldn't. Okay. All right. No more. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. All right.
Okay, I'm going to share one link here on the chat and you have to, but you don't have to, you should actually. <laughs> you should complete the exercise and then of course, share the answers with your partners, okay? Exchange. Let me see, yes. Can you open the link, please? Mm -hmm. Open the link and start completing the exercise. Me salió mal en la primera. Es short, short, short. No debería de comer mucha comida azucarada. ¿verdad? Children. Mm -hmm. Ay, no. Please stop. Sure. Pizza. You sure smoke? No, you sure you smoke. Eh. La primera should, should don't. La segunda show. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. La tercera no debería de pagar viendo videojuego. Ajá. Quiero ver. Qué mala suerte.
Y solo eso. Solo eso. Sí, creo que solo eso vamos a completar. ¿Ya lo terminaron? Sí. Ah, ahorita termino la última. Ok. Juego completado. 9 de 9 en 3.59. All right. Easy. Super easy. Easy peasy. Yes or no? The ones that completed. Thumbs up. Reaction. Completed. Not completed. Difficult. Challenging. Nothing. Okay. Easy. Easy. I see. All right. Good. 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 Celebration. Celebration. Da -da -da. All right. The first one. What is it? Should, shouldn't. Mm. Oh. Letter A, letter B. B. Shouldn't eat lots of sugar food. Uh huh. Sure. You should eat for every day. All right. B. Shouldn't. Yes. You shouldn't play video games all day. Uh huh. Should, shouldn't. Bro. You should wash your hands frequently. 
<laughs> uh huh. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't eat pizza. It can be every day. Though it's delicious. Uh huh. Shouldn't. Shouldn't smoke. Mm hmm. You should. You shouldn't. Shouldn't drink a lot of coffee and tea. Uh huh. Should. You should exercise regularly. And should 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 walk in the park. Correct. All right. Nice. No problems. That was pretty easy. I know. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, I think you can do this one. I'm going to give you this other link for another exercise. Very easy. And as well, you can compare with your partners. So you are not alone on this. We are all together. Okay, open the next link, please. I'm going to give you the opportunity to compare with your partner if you don't know, if you don't understand something.
All right. Volunteers, to tell us the experience with the exercises. How did you go? How did it go? Uh -huh. Any volunteer? No one? All right. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Did you finish? Is there a link? Yes. I'm going to make you okay. Tú ves, sí. Siete de nueve, creo. Pero de ahí no voy a dejar. All right, nice. Anybody else? Report about the exercise? Uh-huh. Anyone else? Okay, never mind. It's all right. It's okay. All right, as I was telling you at the beginning, okay, the main objective for this session definitely is to talk about professional emails. We have been practicing the use of should and shouldn't because this is what we studied yesterday. Okay, these are the rules. You already have the rules on your manual. So we're just gonna go quickly. And I also showed you this yesterday. We completed this exercise yesterday as well. And this exercise was homework. <laughs> All right, Sara never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. So, what is the <clears throat> suggestion for Sara? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes, she should stop chatting, or she shouldn't chat. Mm -hmm. My boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me. Ah, too bad, too bad, too bad. From his desk. He? Sure. Yes. Shout. What is? Shout. Como gritar desde el, desde el escritorio. No quiere caminar, sino que le, le grita desde el escritorio. Uh -huh. So he shouldn't shout. <laughs> He shouldn't shout. He should walk to his desk, right? Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. Uh -huh. They shouldn't take selfies when they are Working. Solo tomando el selfie fácil. So they shouldn't take selfies when they are working. Pablo post the sign, not a good time, on in his office door. So his team does not talk to him. I think his team should ask him what happened. Mm 
because if if, if he posts not a good time, probably he has a problem. Right? That's my opinion. Graciela always sign, sorry, her, her email with the emojis. Hmm. She shouldn't sign her emails with emojis. She should or she shouldn't? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't, right? She shouldn't sign. No debería firmar sus correos de trabajo con emojis. Sí, 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 sí. Ahí está. Así les había quedado parecido igual. Algún ejemplo, alguna objeción, anything, no, seguros, sure, vale, entonces lo borramos, should I erase, yes, I should, right, bye, <coughs> answer the following question, do you send emails every day? Should, I, should emails be brief or long? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Bye. ¿Entendemos las questions? ¿De qué están preguntando? Yes? Do you send emails every day? Yes, I send emails every day. Should emails be brief or long? Deberían ser los correos breves o largos. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? ¿Cuáles serían los tres tips que ustedes podrían decir para escribir correos efectivos? Bye. Vamos a responder esas questions en el chat. All right, no answers on the chat yet. Uh-huh. No answers. You send emails every day? 
can you give three tips to write effective emails? All right, I see. I see, I see from Ricardo. I send emails every day. My emails are brief. The email should be with the name and position of the recipient, clear in a specific message, All right? And kind regards. Nice, good job. Good job. Someone else? Okay, we're going to move on. You can continue answering on the chat, all right? Emails match the words with examples presented. We have emails, terms and address, salutation, closing, and abbreviation. All right. There should be okay, some practice. Yeah, as I mentioned, emails. One, two, three, four, five. What is emails? Mm -hmm. Number one, number two, number three, four, number five. Anybody? Number? Number three. All right. Terms of address. Huh? Would be Mr. or Miss, I guess. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Number two, salutations. Number five. Number five, hello, good afternoon. Formal greetings, right? Mm -hmm. Would be number five. Closing. Four. Four, like bye, <laughs> bye for now. <laughs> okay, and abbreviations. Number one. L O L, oh my God, A S A P, <laughs> B F F. Those are the abbreviations, right? So that should be number one. But it's informal. Very right? informal, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is just as an example, but yeah. uh, in business emails, we shouldn't we shouldn't include this type of abbreviations. Definitely no. See you later, Mr. Boss. Exactly. See you later, mm -hmm. alligator. <laughs> <laughs> no, shouldn't. Definitely no. All right. So let me just clear this thing. And let's go. Okay, use salutation and closing for emails. So we're going to take turns practicing the conversation between Amanda and Louis. Then we're going to listen to the examples and write a short email using salutations in closing. I bet you have this conversation on your manual. Probably I'm going to share from the manual just for you to have an idea what it looks like. And then we come back to the presentation so that we can read it better. Okay. So, you see, write a short and professional emails to coworkers. So they send emails every day. Should emails be brief or long? And then you mentioned the three tips. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, check which tips. Okay, then we have the conversation right here. And we haven't done this, so we're going to do this. Check which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? 
compare with a partner. We're going to do it all together so that we can practice the conversation in just a minute. Let me see. Okay. <clears throat> Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Do not use all capitals. No. Please. Avoid using the subject important. En el asunto no solo pongan important, no. Pongan de qué trata y por qué, right? Use formal salutation. Yes. Be brief. Express clearly why you're writing. Exactly. Explain in a clear form, not just going around, 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 and never go to the point. So we should do this. Do not use abbreviations and do not use the smileys. The smileys are those emojis, right? So do not use the smileys. All right. So for your reference, we got the conversation right here, right? Remember the slide that we just saw? Practice this conversation with the partner between Amanda and Lewis. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. So it's the same one, the same email. I mean, the same conversation, I would say. Yes, do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. All right. So I'm going to give a couple of minutes for you to try to practice this conversation by yourself first. So after you have the ideas clear, you can practice with another partner, right?
Bueno, compañero. Hola, hola. 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 ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Practicar el, el diálogo. Ajá, la conversación. Ok, démoslo para compañero. Ok. Do you open them primero? Yes, I do. Is, is it appropriate to use the abbreviation in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more this right address email? Okay, ahora démosle lo contrario. Yeah, sure. Dice, do you open sync email? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use a verbation in business email? No, it's not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Sí, hacer el otro compañero. Vamos a practicar. David o Brian. Okay. Creo que no están. Bueno, ni modo, compañero. Permítanme. No, 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 no,
de la nota sanosis y terrosanosis. Son la levanta de la que tu orden de va para ayudar a tu Ya estás en la cama. Y la verdad no sirve con el restaurante de hacer una sesión. All right, two volunteers to do the conversation, please. Uh -huh. Two volunteers. There are not volunteers. Ana Cristina and Laura, can you do it? Okay, we have no volunteers then. All right, so let's take a look at the salutations and greetings, all right? If you know the person, well, use the first name only. Dear Taylor. For a potential employer or supervisor, always use Mr. or Ms. Dear Ms. Brown, yes, in business correspondence, to whom it may concern when you don't have a name to use. Dear Sir or Madam, and in casual correspondence, hello, hi. And in groups emails, dear Mr. Bob and Sue, or hi all. So these are usually the salutations and greetings that we use 
in different type of emails now. Of course, in the past, this used to be in letters, but now we we use emails, right? Any question? Any doubt? Any comment? Anyone wants to read? Teacher, I... Yes. Bueno, asumo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. El primero es como un saludo para una persona así, un conocido. Alguien que conoce usted muy bien, dice, if you know the person well, use the uh -huh. first name. Por ejemplo, si usted y yo somos compañeros de trabajo y yo, pues, a cada rato le envío correo a usted, le puedo decir, hola Ricardo, o, querido uh -huh. Ricardo. Uh -huh. Y en el segundo ya es más, más, más específico. Es, es un potencial, dice, uh, employer, supervisor, o uh -huh. la gente podría ser, ajá. Uh -huh. Un empleador, un supervisor, dear, Mr., Mrs. Brown. Siempre usamos el título y los apellidos. Como okay. en español podría ser querido señor Hernández, por decir algo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. y, y en la parte, eso, eso no comprendo qué significa ese To whom it may concern. Ajá. Uh -huh. El tercero. Esto sí, es cuando porque... usted no sabe exactamente a quién corresponde. Ese es el a quién corresponda en inglés. Ah, oh. oh, ok. To whom it may concern. Cuando usted dirige una carta, por ejemplo, a una institución y usted no sabe qué área es la que va, va a tomar el caso, por decir algo, si yo le envío a la alcaldía. Entonces uh -huh. digo a quién corresponda. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, thank you. All right. Anybody else? Or anything else? No. Ok, good. All right, use salutations and closings for emails. This is an example. Let me move this. <clears throat> Photography Studio Grand Opening. Hi, everyone. I have exciting news for you. This Saturday will be the grand opening of my new studio, Easy Photography. It will be open from 10 to 4. There will be entertainment and lots of food, so come out and enjoy the festivities. Hope to see you there, Elena. Okay, so this is sent to Ali Mason, Julia Fulbury, and Henry Rosso. So she's just announcing the opening of her photography studio. So you see, this is this the the salutation. This is the reason or the objective of the email and it's brief, clear, and concise and precise. And this is the closing. So hope to see you there, Elena. Okay, that's an example. Then we have, again, the same. Mm -hmm. And these are the tips. We already read these tips. Ya lo habíamos leído, right? Avoid using important, okay? El subject, no le puse aquí nada más important, sino que photography studio grand opening, right? Hi, everyone. This is a formal salutation. Well, kind of casual because probably she knows these people, okay? Brief, clear, and why? The reason why you're, oh, I mean, why you are writing this email. I have exciting news for you. This Saturday will be the grand opening of my new studio, EC Photography. It will be from 10 to 4. There will be entertainment and lots of food. So come out and enjoy the festivities. Hope to see you there. So this is the closing. And Elena, that's her name, right? Okay. I'm going to assign this activity. This is from the manual. Use salutations and closing for emails. That's the topic, as we were saying. Classify the salutations and closing into formal or informal. De estas frases. ¿Cuáles son formal y cuáles son informal? Las tienen que clasificar. Okay, you have a couple of minutes to do that. And then we're going to compare.
All right, Ricardo says formal. Hello, Mr. Miss, dear friend. Morning, best regards. My best. Informal, hey, what's up? Thanks. <laughs> T-H-N-K, no, X actually. X-O-X-O -X -O and C-U. Uh -huh. That's right. Correct. Applause. Thank you, Ricardo. Next. Okay. Ivan says formal. See you, my best. Hello, Mr. Miss, dear friend. Informal. Hey, what's up? Abbreviation of thank and XOXO. That's right. Correct. Let me. Let me just double check something really quickly. Mm -hmm. And something right here. All right. One second, please. Okay, here we go. We go with the next part. Yes. <clears throat> Steps to write a formal email. Read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. For informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. All right. Así que hay que leer los tips, o sea, estos que están acá, para escribir un email formal y clasificar los emails que están acá, si son formales o informales. And for informal emails, y para aquellos emails que son informales, hay que discutir qué tips hay que aplicar para hacer que estos emails se vuelvan formal. All right. Number one. Wait a second. Number one, fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. And do not just document or important. O sea, en la parte de el asunto, en la parte del subject, no puede escribir sobre la palabra importante o document, no. Tiene que escribir como un subject line, es como una frase, una oración que describa ¿De qué trata el correo? Right? Number two, include a polite salutation. Example, dear mister, dear miss, good morning, etc. Right? Tenemos que incluir un saludo educado. Polite salutation. Write your main points. Number three, write your main points in the opening sentence. Se tiene que escribir los puntos principales al inicio, in the opening sentence. Don't use all capitals or all lowercase letters. O sea, no utilizar solo mayúsculas o solo minúsculas. Pues debe ser de acuerdo a las reglas ortográficas. Aquellas palabras que van con inicial mayúsculas, nombres propios, bla, bla, bla. Después de un punto, al inicio de la oración, pues sí, tiene que ir con inicial mayúscula y las demás minúsculas, pero no solo capitals o no solo lower cases. Avoid, number five, avoid abbreviations. Example, PLZ for please. Se deben de evitar a toda costa las abreviaciones. Ejemplo de esto, escribir PLZ para decir please. Teacher. Una, yes. Pero cuando se refiere a las abreviaciones, asumo yo que es en el, en el cuerpo texto. del uh -huh. el texto, ajá, de correcto, del, del correo, que por ejemplo, en español se maneja, ¿verdad? Para feliz de un licenciado, un licenciada. El... Ah, sí, ajá, pero eso, eso en inglés como los títulos, como doctor, ajá, ajá, ingeniero, correcto. eso sí, pero eso porque ya existen así como los titles, nada más. Entonces sería en el cuerpo de mensaje. Exacto, en el texto. Okay. All right. Nice. 
Be polite. Number six, be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. El mostrar, pues, un lenguaje apropiado y educado, ¿verdad? Si se va a solicitar algo, puede decir por favor o gracias. Number seven, be brief. Ser breve. Pasar leyendo un correo de tres páginas y nunca llegó al, al punto, ¿verdad? This is be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Si el mensaje va a ser muy largo, mejor utilizar un attachment. ¿Sí? La primera Así. página lee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Toda. Vaya. Vamos. Use a closing phrase. Se debe utilizar como un cierre. We have a closing phrase like best regards. Regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. Son las frases que utiliza formalmente para decir saludos cordiales, right? Add a signature block with appropriate contact information. La, la famosa firma del correo, ¿verdad? Your name, business address, and phone number. And number 10, edit and proofread before you send the message. Esto es súper importante. A veces le resta muy importancia el hecho de leer nuevamente o releer y pues asegurarnos que no van esos horrores, ¿verdad? Por eso es editar y hacer proofread antes de darle enviar. Ya pa ha pasado gente que es tan apresurada que hasta le va a enviar. Y le dice, ahí te junto tal cosa y no le pone el despacho. Ah. <laughs> so, proof real before you send the message. And asegúrese de que, pues, exactamente lo que uno quiere decir, ¿verdad? Va, y estos serían los tips. Voy a dar un tiempo para que los lean y después voy a pedir a algunas personas que las puedan leer. Quizás no todas, pero por lo menos una persona que lea del 1 al 3, otra del 4 así y así sucesivamente, ¿ok? So take your time. If you need help with the pronunciation or the vocabulary, it's okay. You can ask. All right. All right.
Okay, ready? From number one to number three, who wants to read? Okay, teacher. All right, Hector, go ahead. Number one, number one. Feel in the subject like white, like white, a topic relevant to your recipients and not just document or important. Good. Number two, include a polite, 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 polite. salutation, a dear mister, dear miss, good morning, a ETC. ETC or etc. ETC. Mm -hmm. Okay, number three. Write your main point in the opening sentence. Very good. From number four to number six. Hi, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Number four. Don't use all capital or all lowercase letter. Number five. Avoid aberration. E.g. E please. And number six, be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Very cool. E.g. means example. Example e given. Uh -huh. Okay. For number seven to number nine, anybody? Or we go with Mr. Hector again. Okay. <laughs> be brief. Be brief. If you don't mind, mind. Message. Message in too long. Consider using an attachment. attachment. Okay. Number eight. Use a closing phrase. Phrase? Like right. this. Uh -huh. Like this. Regard, regard. Looking forward to you comment. ATC. Number nine. And a signature blocks with open appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Mm -hmm. Thing number 10, 10. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Exactly. Edit and proofread before you send the message. Okay. All right. Check these two emails. From Peter at gmail.com to, we don't know, the subject Saturday. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. See you. Formal or informal? Uh -huh. Informal. Informal. Exactly. We say informal because... This is abbreviation, right? The subject, Saturday. Okay, and the message is not clear either. Okay, from Robert at gmail.com. Subject, tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Don't forget the documents. Mm -hmm. This sounds a little bit more formal, but it still is short, right? There, there are no salutations, there's no closing, there's no signature, but it's a little bit more formal, all right? Good. Let me see. Well, now write a professional email to a coworker. Confirm that you need to meet him or her tomorrow. Apply any suggestions, send your email to a partner and copy to your facilitator. Reply the emails you receive from your classmates. Vamos a ver. Aquí varios son coworkers entre ustedes. Así que, bien, practican enviarse un email en inglés. Utilizando las, pues, las sugerencias, los tips, las ideas que hemos visto. Y pueden hacer un screenshot y mostrarlo mañana de que sí les enviaron su email. 
I hope you can do it. O sea, no es que tienen que hacerlo, but it would be a good idea si lo hacen. So you can share tomorrow, okay? Of course, tomorrow we're going to talk about communication at the workplace. Okay, la buena etiqueta al comunicarnos at the workplace. So that's something we're going to continue working on tomorrow. Of course, today we have seen this, how to write a formal email. This is something we have practiced, the conversation as well. Okay, very important tips as well. And we also practice the use of should and shouldn't for suggestion, right? And formal behaviors or appropriate behaviors in the workplace, all right? I see there was very little participation in this class. I bet it's because you're all very busy and very few people were making or were Yes, trying to participate or we're doing the exercises. I, I hope that you have some um, time to, to double check the content that we have studied tonight and that you can access to the platform and complete the exercises. Because sometimes uh, as we try to complete the exercises from the platform, but if we haven't participated in class, it's too difficult. So. Let me have the last attendance. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, let me see. Yes, here. Okay, I hope everybody can answer at least for the attendance. Attendance ready? Ready? That's all. All right, nice. Ready, ready, ready. Great. Ana Cristina. Or you can yeah, also. Ya se durmieron, teacher. Yes, I told you. <laughs> or you can answer in the chat at least. No, Ana Cristina is not here anymore. She left. I'm not from... Navidad, yeah, I think. Por el carnaval de San Miguel. Ah, uh... sí, en la barranda. <laughs> Okay, Brian, 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 se nos fue Brian también, no por ahí está, here, en el inventory, a saber hasta qué hora va Brian con su inventory. Okay, David Miguel. Present teacher. All right, and the rain is over. Yes, over. All right, nice. A little bit. It was just a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Deborah Beatriz. Here. <laughs> okay. Doris. No, Doris was not here tonight. Mm, Elvin. También Don Elvin no estuvo. He was not here. Gracia. Or maybe she left already. Hector. Present teacher. All right. Imelda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ivan. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Joanna. 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 Ella está haciendo pizza ahorita, teacher. Está en el negocio. Really? She's working. Yes. My goodness. <laughs> Jocelyn. Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Celaya. Okay. Laura. Ya se me fue Laura, tú. María Irma. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel. I think Miguel Ángel sent a message on the group. Nelson. Present teacher, good night. Good night. 
Paula, no, she didn't connect tonight. Ricardo. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Wendy. Present teacher, good night. Good night, and Wilmer. That's it. Oh, Mr. Wilmer left too. All right. Have a good night. Rest, recover, recharge batteries, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.